Hi, Charlie. This is the third or fourth one of my uh, We're All Gonna Die vlogs. Uh, I've been thinking about uh, Mr. 45 recently, and um, maybe we should give him a chance. You know, maybe we've judged him too harshly. The majority of America voted for him. He won close to a landslide victory. Maybe America sees something I don't. And maybe we need to take everything he does as, like, free of judgment. And just really try to understand where he's going with this. And that's what I've heard from uh, a lot of main news sources. Uh, MSNBC, their Morning Joe program, they pretty much said that. Like, oh, we came down, we kissed the ring, and uh, we're going to take him seriously, and we're going to change our reporting stance. And that is laughable. Um, there is good on the electors, the people that voted on both sides, but we've seen what this guy does. He's interested in himself and making himself feel better, which is a bottomless pit. And to get that done, he will push aside anything that even a child would understand as, um, as the right thing to do. Uh, you've seen a bunch of hilarious appointments from him. Um, most of those, I think, are a distraction to get Lucy as Secretary of Defense. Or, excuse me, as... Um, uh, director of Ma National Intelligence, which is an absolute... You might as well just give it to one of Vladimir Putin's allies. <laughs> so, um, it's going to be a cartoon, and he should be treated as such, and it's going to be threatening the American way of life for not only people like me, lesser, but also the very people that voted for him, probably even more so. Um, treat him with anger and um, tactfulness and treat the rest of his presidency like that. Every billionaire is kissing the ring. Every liberal newspaper is trying to get a new handle on this. You had the appropriate handle the last time. He is a monster. And Democrats have to figure out what their party actually stands for and find an authentic way to be for something. Uh, 2020 was carried often by rebelling against the current administration. You're not always going to have that. Uh, we're going to have four years of rebelling against the administration of just the few Democrats in office that are obstructing them. Um, so my thing is, uh, I'm not saying no quarter, because obviously I don't want anyone to die. But those gut feelings you have on him, he has given us four years of history in the office, four years of history after the office. Um, his entire business background um, of that he is a bad person. He is unsuitable for any office or any position. Um, I wish the country well. I wish those that voted for him well. But if you're going to act outside your best interest, you should be judged as such. And um, so, yeah, that's uh, this week's rant. Uh, thank you for if you watched it. And feel free to comment on my weight if you didn't. So here's hoping for a better tomorrow.